the Santa Blanca cocaine production pipeline, led by El Yayo. It all starts in the fields with the harvesting of the Erythrox lumnovogranitens, aka the coca plant. Of the 200 known species of Erythroxlum, only two contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're planting. El Yayo knows what he's planting. First, his people strip the leaves off the plant. Then the leaves are dried, finely chopped, and sent to the lab. That's where this chick comes in. La Gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub-zero morality numbers. They take the chopped leaves, dust them with lime, that's right, lime, then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then, they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam, cocaine paste. You dry it, chuck in more acid, and pretty soon, you got powder. But now you have to purify it because no one wants to snort yellow powder. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, hungry yet? Filter with ammonia and beautiful, pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product. Plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, reduction of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken Coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done for the lab. They're innovators, they're pioneers, they're SB. El Yeyo's fallen out of favor with the cartel. Let's bring him in. It's time we made him an offer. Buckle up, people. To the market, Jeeves. Drone is up. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. We've got enemy activity nearby. Visual on the target. Target acquired. Ready to engage. Standing by. No target. Repeat. No target. Good to go. Firing. They're gonna see you. Hold up. Get back before they make you. Get 
asses! Put that gun away! No, hear me out, por favor. I understand how long it usually takes to harvest the fields. But okay. Clear on this side. Vamanos, we're taking you someplace safe. I cannot leave. If the Sueños men see that I'm gone, the cartel will kill my family. Coopere todo saldra bien. are you taking me? There's someone who wants to ask you some questions about your activities with the cartel. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. But only once my family is safe. You understand? If not, you may as well take me back where you found me. You still haven't told me who you are. I have heard rumors about the phantasmas who are making buildings burn. Making things disappear. Making people disappear. I thought they were just being superstitious. We're re RP's just ahead. Nobody get comfortable. I get the feeling we'll be heading right back out again. Roger that. I should have known. CIA has brought in our own sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family. Then I decide if I will talk. Yayo's family's in the cartel district of a village called Baya Floresta. We've got to move fast. Sueño finds he's gone, that family's dead. Coming up on Baya Floresta. Yayo's wife and son are supposed to be somewhere in the village. Keep your eyes open. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Roger that. Heads up. I got eyes on Yayo's wife and son. Pero Dios mío, won't you sicarios leave us alone? Take it easy. We're the good guys. I call the rebels for a diversion. Copy that, Jenky. Sending someone to that position. Don't touch me! Calm down, Chewie. Your father sent us. You expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever the fuck you want as long as you shut up and follow instructions. Oh, wait. We got the Kumpa. Someone's headed to that position.
going after the wife and son. Stop them. This is the old man's fault, isn't it? He's too greedy and too proud. A man cannot be both. Callate, mijo. Ruri does his best for his family, for the cocaleros. How do we... This is it. You're safe now. Rodolfo. Mirosita, estás bien? Sí, mi vida. Papa, what trouble had you gotten us into now, old man? We just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes, blanquiñosos yankees, only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. I'll eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend either. Tranquilo, mijo. I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family, to ensure that my people, los cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. Come and get what you want? Nobody's happy about it, but yeah, looks that way. Fucking ingrates. They know we saved their lives, right? All I know is the cartel's gonna have a hell of a time making cocaine without El Yayo. The rest is over my pay grade. I heard that. You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia. Out of work with no means to support their families. All they could do was wait. Wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. <laughs>